we put a 250 milliliter conical flask onto a top loading balance and weigh out about 5 grams of impure benzoic acid. It doesn't need to be 5.0 grams, but we do want to write down the mass used for the experiment. Next we add a few boiling chips, three or four or five will be appropriate. And then we measure out 100 milliliters of distilled water. We add this into the flask with the benzoic acid and the boiling chips. We swirl the mixture and then put it on a hot plate to heat it up to near boiling. While the solution is heating up, we can set up the gravity filtration with another conical flask, a funnel and a fluted filter paper. Once we are near boiling, we can start our filtration. This needs to happen pretty fast with the solution very hot. So we pour as much as possible into the fluted filter paper, wait for a little bit to run through and then add more of the hot solution. We want the filter paper filled to the top as much as possible. While the solution is running through, it cools off and starts to recrystallize, which might clog the funnel and get stuck in the filter paper as well. Insoluble impurities and some benzoic acid will be left behind in the filter paper. Once the filtration is done, we remove the filter and put the flask into an ice bath to encourage more crystallization. We add some distilled water into a small beaker and put this into the ice bath as well for cooling off. The used filter paper gets thrown out into the rubbish. Next we set up the vacuum filtration. We clamp the vacuum flask securely, add the vacuum holes and connect it to the vacuum outlet. and then set the Büchner funnel on top of the vacuum flask. We insert the filter paper into the Büchner funnel. When we're ready, we turn it on the vacuum and wet the filter paper by adding a little bit of distilled water into the Büchner funnel. We swirl the flask to create a slurry and pour this into the Büchner funnel. We try to transfer all the crystals into the funnel by shaking the flask and possibly scraping the last little bit out with a spatula. We remove the vacuum hose and wash our crystals with the ice cold water. We pour a little bit over top of the crystals and then mesh them up with the spatula to make sure they're all suspended in the cold water. This washing will remove the soluble impurities that are still stuck to the crystals. We then reapply the vacuum to suck the crystals dry and achieve fairly white recrystallized benzoic acid this way. We get a watch glass and a large filter paper and then transfer the crystals from the Büchner funnel onto the filter paper where we let them dry for a bit longer. To determine the melting point, we need a capillary tube. 
These have one open end and one closed end. We dip the open end into our crystals on the filter paper to get some of the crystals into the tube and then gently tap it for the crystals to fall down into the tube. The closed end of the melting point tube gets inserted into the melting point apparatus. Through the viewer at the top we make sure that the tube is in the right position and then we observe the crystals until they melt. At the end of the experiment, when we're done with all the testing, the recrystallized benzoic acid gets collected in special containers 